Hey y'all, welcome to another video from Reckonow.com. Today I'm taking a hog I shot in East Texas and I'm turning it into breakfast sausage. So when I field dress this hog, I used the gutless method, which means I took home two hams, two shoulders, and two back straps. Once I got the hams, shoulders, and back straps home, I trimmed them up. So I'm just cutting off any silver skin or any hair or anything I see, anything I don't want to go into the grinder. And then I take more manageable chunks and I just slice it into something that will move through the grinder more easily. I'm cutting this pretty small, but I have a one and a half horsepower grinder, so I can be pretty liberal in how big a pieces I put into it. But one inch chunks should be handled by most grinders that you might find at Academy or Bass Pro. So I take the lean meat that I got off the hog and I put it into five pound bags and then I just weigh them because I'm aiming for an 80-20 ratio. I consider anything that comes off the wild hog lean and then I'm going to supplement fat from a butcher. So this is fat I got at our local butcher. It's pork fat. So that's what I always use pork fat just because it doesn't have a, you know, beef fat has more of a, a flavor. So I'm using pork fat and I'm cubing it up as well. And I'm going to mix this into the lean meat that I had already cut. So again, you're shooting for 80-20 ratio. If you noticed, I had put the lean meat into the freezer. So the trick to making sausage is, or grinding anything really, is to keep it cold. So I'm going to bag this up and put it into the freezer as well while I make the seasoning. So this is really just salt, then about half as much uh, pepper as salt, some brown sugar, some sage, some thyme, actually that was rosemary, there's the thyme, and some red pepper flakes. And I always put it into a mason jar just because then I can put the top on it and just shake it up. So just get it where it's all mixed in pretty well. Then I'm going to dump the lean meat into a, a meat lug. So this is, again, 80% lean. It came out of the freezer. It's not frozen solid, but it's very cold. I just sop, sop up any kind of liquid that might be on it. And then I'm going to take that fat that I cut up and I'm going to mix it together with the seasoning. Just mix it with your hand. And what I like to do, I actually have a chest freezer and then we have the freezer on the refrigerator. I'll cover this with aluminum foil. And I'll put that into the freezer to get nice and cold. Again, when you're grinding, cold is better. So I'll put that into the freezer. And then in the indoor freezer, I actually put the parts to my grinder. Again, I'm getting them cold because as they start grinding, the cold meat, if the grinder parts are warmer, you know, it warms up faster. So just keep it cold. And I'm using a meat one and a, one and a half horsepower grinder. So this is a big grinder. Uh, it's a 32 size throat. I really like this grinder. It really, you know, there's not much you can throw at it that it can't grind. It is a pretty big grinder, um, but I can't say enough about this. I actually recently did a review on the blog that you can find of this grinder. It's a good one if you're currently in the market. So what we're going to do is we're going to pull enough meat out of the freezer to fit into the hopper, and then we're going to do a coarse grind. So when you do a coarse grind, um, it actually goes pretty quick with this grinder because you're just throwing meat down the hole and it's grinding it nearly as fast as you can throw it down there. When you get done, put it in a metal bowl, put it back in the freezer, keep it nice and cold, and then you're going to change your plate out to use the fine grind. So then you're going to get your coarse ground meat out, and you're going to run it through the fine grinding plate. So run all the meat through the fine grinding plate, and again, return it to the freezer to keep it cold. Then you're going to want to switch to your meat stuffer plate. We're filling up meat bags rather than linking this sausage, because breakfast sausage we like to eat ground or in patties. So fill up your meat bag, then if you have a poly tape tool, this is a great tool just to get the bags nice and airtight. Move some to the freezer, but be sure to leave a little bit out for taste testing. So these are a few patties we made. Just wanted to check that the fat ratio was right and the spice was good. This is a mild sausage because we like to let the kids have it. Um, it turned out great and we hope this helps you. There's a recipe for this sausage on the blog. Thanks y'all.